video with Mel. Um, today I'm showing you what I am bringing with me to the London Film and Comic Con convention this weekend. Um, those of you who know, I've told you a couple of times now, I'm going as Squirrel Girl, so I'm packing my costume as well as the other essentials you need for a convention. And conventions are quite a difficult thing to pack for. Um, if you've ever been to one before, anything can go wrong. They are hot, they are humid, they are full of people. It is difficult. Um, so I'm trying to prepare as best I can for this. Because the thing is, when you cosplay, you want to bring in the least amount of stuff as possible. Um, I've gotten away with this in the past with my partner carrying a backpack for me. Unfortunately, he's not going with me. So I'm on my own entirely. I'm carrying everything myself. And it's going to suck a little bit. <laughs> Because, like, you, you want to bring the least amount of stuff as possible, but it's just not going to be possible. Because you've got to be prepared to buy stuff. That's one of the things I'm going to Comic-Con to do, is to buy lots of merchandise. And i got to need some more to carry it. What, what's the point, otherwise? Um, and I'm going to have a photo shoot with a celebrity. So I need to make sure i got my tickets, make sure I look good at the same time. Um, so I'm bringing two bags with me. The first one I actually just purchased today, because I saw it and I was like, oh my god, that's perfect. That's better than what I have. So it is a Marvel bag. Come closer so you guys can see it. And it's got different Marvel characters on it. You can get a Marvel label on here. But I was thinking this is actually quite perfect for Squirrel Girl. Because these are all the people she's like beat up. <laughs> and I kind of want to write on it. Kick their butts. <laughs> just on there. Because it, it's just funny. Um, so those of you that have read the Squirrel Girl comic know she is a bit of a fangirl herself for other Marvel superheroes like Spider-Man, like Iron Man, like Lady Thor really, but we've got normal Thor here and here and the Hulk. So she's friends with all these characters, so you would think if Squirrel Girl was going to a convention, she'd have a bag like this. So I'm trying to do it kind of uh, dressing in character for Squirrel Girl. So I'm going to have my costume on, but I'm also taking this massive messenger bag with me to carry all my con gear in. Because you need con gear. Because otherwise you get bored out of your mind at cons. Because you're constantly in line. Constantly waiting for stuff. I'm going to spend most of my time shopping. But there will probably be panels I want to go to. Um, I'm going to have a photo shoot from, um, from one of the Power Rangers. And I want to make sure I'm prepared. Okay. I am actually bringing two of... Um, two sets of costumes. So one for each day. Because I'm going for two days. And the thing is, it's going to be 75 degrees outside, so that convention hall is probably going to feel like 85. It is going to be hot in there, so I'm bringing two sets of con clothes, and I'm bringing options as well. So when I pack a bag, I have went to a few cons before. I prefer small cons because they're so much easier. You stay in the hotel where the con is, you go get anything you want. You leave the stuff up in your hotel room, you go get it. Makes life so much easier. I don't have that option. My hotel room will be on the opposite side of London, so not going to work for me. Most important thing, bring some water. They charge so much at conventions for water. It is ridiculous. I saw a guy um, selling at London Comic Con last year. I think he was charging five pounds for a bottle of water. Seriously. Bring your own water. There won't be very many like food places either. I remember there being like two last year. So bring, bring your own food if you can as well. Bring some protein bars. Bring some crisps, something like that, some chips put it in your bag, have it for a snack, because you're going to want something later on. You might want more, something more substantial later on, but you'll want something like snacking in line. I haven't put that in there yet, but I will be doing. So, next thing I'm bringing, I'm actually bringing my smaller camera. I'm filming on my normal filming camera right now, but I've decided to bring my Sony Handycam for the convention. Um, I was going to bring my normal camera, but I've decided to bring this one just because I only need to bring one battery then, because this will charge on my portable charge bank. It's got a USB here, so I can just charge that on my normal portable bar battery, so I can literally bring one battery. So that is cool. Um, with that said, where is the portable battery? I'll just find it so I can show you. So I've got a massive portable battery, guys. It is massive. It is probably about four years old now. I've had it for a while now, and it has two slots for batteries, and you can plug in and charge at the same time. It charges my phone probably about 8 to 10 times, so it is massive. Um, I can charge my phone on here and the camera at the same time, no problem. Um, I'll be taking this with me to Japan as well. I've had this for ages. It is heavy, 
but it is the best portable battery I've ever had. I used to have a really small one. It used to do my phone one and a half times. So much better. So much better. If you're going to a con, you need a portable battery. Absolutely. You cannot go to the con without one because you're going to be taking pictures of stuff and you're going to want to have um, a battery with you. Next thing, empty Ziploc bag. This will come in handy. I'm, I'm sure. I pack one of these whenever I travel anyway. If it's pouring down with rain and a celebrity walks by, I'm not just going to get my camera out and ruin it. I'm going to put it in the Ziploc bag and it's not going to get ruined. If there's anything wet I need to dispose of, Ziploc bag, trash bag, can be anything. Very useful. Doesn't cost very much. Very useful to have. A fan. It gets really hot in conventions. I was going to be bring an electronic fan, the one I'm bringing to Japan, but I decided this was more portable and it was lighter. So I'm bringing one of my Japanese fans with me. Folds up really small. Go in the com bag. Keep me cool. Kleenexes. You're always going to have a snuff, stuffy nose somewhere. This is something new I'm bringing. Um, I ordered some new business cards. They just say I'm a YouTuber and say my author name and say my book. I thought these would be cool to hand out. So if someone comes up to try and take a picture with me as Squirrel Girl or if I talk to, um, there's a YA book fair going out at the same time, if I talk to an agent, I've got business cards to hand out. Very smart. Headphones, because you always need your headphones. I'll be taking my phone as well. I am put it in here. Paracetamol. Get a headache, you're going to want this. Or if you feel like crap, you're going to want this. Hair ties. There's a whole bunch in there. Um, hair brush. Very important. Eye drops. I have problems with my eyes, so I need constant eye drops. Pens and the notebook. If you run into a celebrity you want an autograph with, that you won't have to pay for, you're going to want a notebook and some pens. Because you'll have that autograph and no one else will. So make sure you got a couple pens. Make sure they work. Test them ahead of time. Um, Band-aids. Plasters. You're going to need them. Something will happen where you will cut your finger, you'll be bleeding, you'll be happy to have this. Someone else might cut their finger. Be a friend. <laughs> you might get a blister. You'll want these things. Also, ladies, bring a pad or a tampon. Even if you don't need it, someone else at the con might do. Be a friend. Be helpful to each other. Be nice. Um, I got my Squirrel Girl earrings and this little pouch here. So I'll be wearing them at the convention. I've got my 3DS really cool thing to take conventions because lots of people take them to the conventions and you can um, pick up lots of people there you can get lots of cities filled in taking this to japan as well because it is awesome there keeps you busy when you're stuck in line as well so really useful thing to have uh this is my charger i am only going to bring the one charger so i've already got one cord for charging my actual phone this has four usbs on it so it's really useful. You can plug four things in. And this is the other end of my camera. I could use a plug. I could actually just probably not go with it. Because I can just plug it directly in there. I might even just dump that. And not bring the cord. I don't need it. Got tippy toe. Going to be attached to my costume still. I haven't done it yet. And I've got part of my squirrel girl costume. This is my squirrel girl utility belt. <laughs> I haven't quite figured out how this is going to work yet it is literally a belt because i was trying to put together one and i looked at some batman ones but i didn't like any of them and they were too expensive for what they were and literally i put this belt together for three quid <laughs> so i have oops if i can actually get it have this yellow belt it's gonna go around me and then if i can get them oh oh no i'm upside down sorry <laughs> i'm being stupid i was wondering why the belt was wrong upside down other way around this is why you need mirrors I cannot be trusted to do these things on my own and this is why you don't do things on camera <laughs> so I'm gonna put this on here and I'm gonna make sure the yellow bits actually showing it's not it's not going well guys I might have to edit this so I put the yellow bit through through the hole through there and guess what I've got two pouches which I will refer to as my nut sacks <laughs> for my squirrel girl paw a costume. It's a utility belt. One of these pouches has some safety pins in it in case something goes wrong. I just put like four in there. 
too big, too small kind of things you need. The other one has my wallet in it. And this is my travel wallet. It's really small, really flat. It's Hello Kitty, so it's adorable. I've got all my like cards I tend to use in London, like my Oyster card and like my Tesco Club card and uh, Boots card. And I got my money. Very important thing. Comic Con, cash is king. Bring cash. Half the vendors won't take a credit card. Bring cash. And stick to a budget. If you bring cash as well, you're more likely to stick to your budget because once the money's gone, you're not going to get any more out, are you? Because first of all, the ATM at Comic Con will charge you and it will charge you huge amounts. So if you're getting money out, get it out before you come to the con because you will just end up paying through the nose for nothing. Okay, that's my utility belt for um, squirrel. Deodorant. Don't be the smelly person. Seriously. Squirrel girl ears in here. We'll be putting them on on the day. Um, boulder. Very important. This is an old beat up one from work. If you buy comic books or if you buy posters, this will keep it flatter. I know it's very movable right now, but once it's in there, it's going to keep it flat and it's going to keep it from getting wrecked. And notice, it fits my bag perfectly. There's actually a pocket in this bag. I love this bag even more. I didn't realize that when I bought it. I've also got another folder. This is all my hotel stuff. So it's my hotel stuff and my train tickets and my passes for Comic Con. So everything's in there. I can grab it easily, pull it out. I've got everything. So that's in my first bag. That's everything I'm bringing for Comic Con. There's a lot of stuff in there. Unfortunately, it's going to be heavy, but some of it will get used on the day. Some of it will come in a lot of handy. I will be a lot happier. That'll be cool because I'll have my fan and I'll have my comic stuff and I'll have my extra battery. So that is my bag I'm actually bringing into the convention itself. This is my bringing along bag. Now this bag I've had for a long time. It's about six years old. It is a Barbie bag that I got from New Look. It's literally my favorite suitcase ever and I'll be so, so upset when this dies. Um, but this is how I pack a suitcase as well guys. So I am only bringing one pair of shoes. I know sacrilegious i'm bringing a comfortable pair of easy to wear shoes they are my little sketchers they'll work with my costume and they'll be fine for a normal day as well so i'm only going overnight one night so i don't need to worry too much about shoes um, i have insoles for my shoes the most important thing is i remember to bring those insoles other things i'm bringing some tan lotion toothpaste some wet wipes they might come into the calm with me and some hair ties because i'm going to put my hair back so need all those things. Pack of toothbrushes. Tesco sells these for 18p. Great for travel. I always buy a whole bunch of them for travel. Pair of scissors. Very useful. I used to have a pair of scissors I use exclusively for travel, but they broke on, the, on my last trip, so these are replacement ones. And they're actually like rubbery tips. I love these. Really cool. Um, and then I have my outfit for the second day. I always pack everything in Ziploc bags because I live in Britain and it rains all the time. So if my suitcase gets wet, my clothes are wet. So I always pack everything. I roll them up, I put them in here. I literally have one dress, one pair of leggings and a sweater. And that will be my outfit for when the con is finished and when I'm on my way home. I'll be wearing something else down so I'll have that outfit as well. This is my undergarments and something to sleep in. So that goes in a separate bag. I've also got an extra pair, two pairs of socks in there. Um, I'm also bringing these socks, these uh, lace footies. These are from Primark. Best socks um, for staying cool. They literally have like um, silicone bit at the bottom to keep you from moving around. They're really comfortable, even if you've got not great feet like I do. So, really comfortable. Uh, plug for my Nintendo DS. Another pack of Kleenex, because you never can be sure. Pack of earplugs if the hotel is noisy. Very important. I'm bringing one jacket. It is my squirrel girl jacket. It's going to be hot most of the time, so I shouldn't need to bring another one. But if it gets cold, I've got a jacket as well. This is part of my costume, but it will double as a normal jacket for the day. Uh, then I have two sets of my costumes because I'm not sure what I'm wearing. So one is for one day, one is for the other. I'll just show you what I'm doing with these. So because it's going to be so hot and I'm not sure how well I'm going to cope with the heat, 
Um, my normal Squirrel Girl costume has leggings, right? Gray leggings, because that is screen accurate. But it's supposed to be 75 degrees, and that's going to be ridiculously hot. And I've got my normal uh, leotard that's going to go over it. I've also bought a pair of gray shorts. This is my alternative if it's too hot. These go under leotard. I stay cooler. Um, I have less layers on because I gotta wear the jacket as well, guys. It's gonna be so hot. Um, this is why I'm bringing along that fan. But I've got two pairs of the same costume because I'm having one for each day because I'm gonna sweat in this and I'm not gonna wanna put it on the next day. Really, for the price of what I paid for the same outfit twice, which is under a tenner, it just keeps me from being dropped. And the great thing about these plastic bags as well, push them down, push all the air out of it. And that's really compact and those aren't moving around. And they aren't going to get wrinkled. So it's great. And I've got my squirrel tail from the bottom of my bag. I've just put it back in the original bag it came in. Keep it out of the way. Keep it from shedding and everything. And that will just go around my arms when I want it. I probably won't wear it till I get to the convention because I don't want to get strange looks, guys. And you know how people will give you strange looks if you're walking around in con gear. And that is pretty much everything I'm bringing. I'm not bringing loads of stuff. I'm trying to keep it down as much as I can. But some things you do need at the con. Like you need to be prepared for things to break. You need to be prepared for your feet to hurt. <laughs> um, for costumes to need changing. To not smell. To be entertained. All those things are great to have at a convention. And that's what's going to go in my con bag. And what I'm going to use for this weekend. So I'll be um, doing another video at the con itself. I'll be doing loads of videos while I'm bringing my camera. So I'll be uploading those, letting you know how it gets, how I get on with it. If you see me at the convention, please come say hello to me and take a picture with me. I will definitely include you in the YouTube video if you do. And I will shout out to your channel if you come, if you have one or your Twitter or your social media or whatever you'd like. So come up, come see me. If you're coming to London Comic Con, let me know in the comments if you are. I'll try and look out for you, especially if I know if you're dressing up or if you're not. Um, if you just happen to run into me there, say hello. If you run into me in London, say hello. Um, it'd be great to see you guys. Um, I am going to the convention on my own. Uh, boyfriend's coming to London with me, but I'm going to be at the convention alone. So I'd love to have someone come talk to me as well. So that'd be really cool. So thanks for watching these guys. I'll be doing another packing video um, for Japan shortly after this one because I'm not going yet and I'm using the suitcase at the moment. So thanks for watching guys, please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you later, bye bye. Hey guys, Mel here. I really want you to subscribe, subscribe, want you to subscribe, subscribe, want you to click that button below. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe.